guys, welcome back to Crafting with K. Take four. So today I decided to show you guys what I was doing. I am remodeling my craft room and I was doing this project and I thought it'd be a great idea to show you guys. These are storage containers or storage cubes. Um, and we all know once we put them together, we have this raw natural, I call it ugly look at the back of the cabinet. And I really wanted to spruce mine up because when you walk into my craft room, you will be able to see this. So what I decided was to go ahead and put some tissue and paint the frame. I thought it came out really, really cute. Pink is one of the colors that I will be using in my craft room. So I had a lot of tissue and I just put tissue back there. And I wanna show you guys the way I did it and let you guys know that you can do this too if you wanna spruce up your cubes. So let's just jump right into it. What I have with me today is a few little throwaway bowls to put my paint and my Mod Podge in. I also have this paint that I got from Walmart. It's a um, acrylic paint. I have some Mod Podge. And I picked up these little sponge um, brushes just to put the Mod Podge on. And I also have some tissue, some pink tissue. So let me show you how I did it. Okay, so what I did was I took the sponge brush and I just basically painted the rim with the um, acrylic paint. Now, here's the thing. You can use whatever kind of paint you want. I used acrylic paint and I used these sponge brushes. But on this one, I used a regular brush, which was okay, but I do like the way that this brush applies and is more and you're not wasting your time sitting painting where the sponge um, brush soaks in the paint and it just goes on great and evenly um, so again it's up to you what you choose to use so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a fresh brush I'm gonna take a bigger size and I'm gonna go in with the Mod Podge and the tissue Okay, so when you lay the tissue by the pit, excuse if you hear my dogs barking, but what happens is when you lay the tissue with the Mod Podge, it's very thin and flimsy. So it may break, it may tear. So what you have to do is just keep applying the tissue down layers. And again, you can use whatever you want. I chose tissue. You can put paper. The only reason why I didn't paint, because it's not real wood. And I felt like if I would paint it, it would buckle and have like, you know, when you put paint on cardboard, you know, it has that buckle effect. That's why I chose the um, tissue with the Mod Podge. All right, guys. Say hi to Chloe. Hi, Chloe. So this is the way it came out. It has to dry completely, but what you wanna make sure you do is when you're doing your streaks with the brush, that 
you make coon streaks. You don't want it like to buckle, kind of like how this is up here. I like this one better and I'm waiting for this to dry completely. But if this is the way it came out, if you take your time and you brush it completely and do even strokes, you have a clean finish. So fingers crossed that this come, the, this bottom one comes out clean and you know, neat like this one in the middle. So yeah. So guys, if you like this video, please remember to subscribe, thumbs up, and until next time, bye guys. Bye-bye.